All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about cut shells. Welcome to Be the Ant Preparedness. guys we're gonna be talking about cut shells what is a cut shell pretty much just take a standard shotgun shell this is a 20 gauge this is a five shot uh, and you literally like it says you cut it and I'm going to show you here if our cameraman okay you can see how it's got a cut what are, are we focusing there we, go. we got okay so you can see how it is cut around here all the way around, but when you get back, oh, we need a little bit of focusing. You can see that they're not cut in two, okay? They kind of overlap, so that little piece of plastic is still holding this on. Okay, but what's going to happen when we put this in the gun and we shoot it, this entire front of the shell is going to come off and that is going to be your projectile. What, in essence, you're doing is creating almost like a slug, okay? And that's where if you go and buy just some cheap bird shot, you know, some seven and a half shot, eight shot, whatever you got, you can normally pick those things up for like a box for like five bucks. Um, for a self-defense uh, survival type situation, that's pretty much what, you're, what you got there is a slug. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you, hopefully this will work, we are going to show you the difference between just a standard five shot you know small game round and what happens when you shoot the cut shell we've got a small piece of scrap plywood set up down there and you guys can't tell but it's probably 20 yards away and what we're going to do we're going to have my assistant Chris come up here and he is going to shoot this is the standard five shot okay so this is still a hunting round for small game squirrel rabbit Rabbit might be a little big, but he's going to show what happens from 20 yards with this. So go ahead and let her rip. Okay, let's go ahead and see the damage real quick. All right, now you can see where he hit. Stop. You can see where he hit here, okay? You can see all these little BBs, I hope, but you're not seeing that massive hole. You've got to spread probably 10 to 12 inches right here. Okay, so we saw what happens with just your standard five shots, your hunting round, uh, type of penetration you're getting. Now we're gonna back up to the same distance and we are gonna use our cut shell and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so now we are going to try the cut shell. Do we have focus? You can see here. Okay, we are going to try the cut shell so that everybody... Hey cameraman, <laughs> can you see this here? Yeah. And we are going to put it in the gun, so I want to make sure everybody understands this is not a slug. This is just a five shot. Make sure you're standing behind him so that you can see the shot and the plywood and go ahead and shoot when you are ready. All right, let's walk up and see what we did. A little bit smell. Ah, any uh, cologne manufacturers out there, if you can make up a cologne that smells like burnt gunpowder, that would be amazing. All right, now look at what we got here. We got us a hole that hit, did not it? expand here, punch the hole straight through. Cut. 
Okay, so we see that we've got one hole punched through that, and it's probably half inch plywood. Okay, but we found this. This is what was holding the shot. This is what detached from the rest of the shell. And what happened, follow me down here, as this hit, once it hit here, this stopped and blew back, and the rest of the shot blew through. Okay, we're going to try a cut shell again. We've seen how it holds that shot together, doesn't allow it to expand. But through this half inch plywood, we really can't talk penetration. So we got this old hunk of wood that we're going to shoot, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, got the sun with us here. We are going to try another cut shell. Now this one is a seven and a half shot. Okay, this is a bird shot. Okay, and once again, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is a cut shell. And before we cut away, we're going to show you what's left in the gun this time. And we're going to go ahead, that way everybody knows, and we're going to shoot that old hunk of wood down there. And we're going to see how she goes. So, cameraman, are you in position? Fire away. Oh, okay. We, he, he was off a little bit. Oh, hold oh, on. I'm sorry, you want to see that? Yep. Okay, after that shot, this is what was left in his gun. Okay, you can see where we cut, and it detached right here, and it sent the entire front end of the shell out. So let's see what kind of damage we got. Okay, we're going to see the damage of our cut shell into the uh, hunk of wood here. All right, let's go ahead and look. Now, he was off a little bit, but what, what happened here, as soon as it hit here, it kind of coned out, and you can see the hole that it made from hitting here. We're going to try another one, and we're going to try to get a little bit better shot. Come on up here to me. Um, with these cut shells, okay, this is not a rifled slug that you're going to get a one-inch group at 100 yards. No. This is literally 20 yards, 30 yards. What would you say, Chris, is your max on one of these here things? Probably 50 or 60. About 50, 60 yards, accurate. And we're talking about for a target, you know, a deer-sized target. Um, that's, a, that's about your limit, okay? It's just a smooth board. So we are going to try one more cut shell, see if we can get a better shot on We'll be right back. All right, we're going to try once again with another cut shell, and we're going to see if we can get a little bit more on target here. But, oh, excuse me. So you can see here it is cut, and this is a five shot. And you're going to see it go in the gun. And Mr. Cameraman, get them both. When you are ready, let her rip. That's what we are looking for. That's a good one. There you go. Show him. There we go. That is what is left. Alright, let's check him out. Okay, it went. <laughs> okay, now this is good. I want you to get down there. We want to talk about this. It went through that hunk of wood. It went through our plywood. And you can see that it even went. There's the wad. Here's the wad buried. Buried with shot into this little stump here, and there is all kinds. Okay, it can do some damage, guys. So let's go ahead and pick him up here, clean hole through that, and it busted. Oh, this is this is that wadding was from the last one, looks like. And look here. Now this is pretty tough wood here, but you can see how it went in and it's kept going, kept going. That is the kind of damage you can get with the cut shell. And they are embedded in there. So yeah, pretty good. All right, as you guys can see, that first shot that went into the stump, that was actually the shot, uh, the first shot into just the plywood. Um, but you can see through the hunk of wood that she poked in there, we got over two inches, probably two and a half inches maybe, 
somewhere in there and we were digging up some of this lead and I want to show you guys. This is what, if I can separate, this here is what your shot looks like when it's in the shell. Okay, this here is what's happening through that uh, cut shell and what's happening this is the shot that is in the rear or possibly in the front but when it finally hits it's compressing all that so this stuff is being compressed together and this <laughs> would be pretty wicked okay the sharp pieces just going everywhere can can do some real damage all right so we're here with our shooter and just wanted to try to get an idea. You guys aren't here to see what we're shooting, the depth, the hardness of the wood. It's pretty tough wood. If this were to hit, let's say a deer, that way we don't get in trouble. If this were to hit a deer, what type of penetration would you assume that you would get out of that, you think? I would say my thinking would probably be three quarters of the way through, but it would impart 100% of its energy into the deer instead of poking through as a, a, a high caliber rifle would and not imparting its full um, foot pounds of energy. That's what I would do. And, and once it hits, because for our hunters out there, this is your kill zone right behind the shoulder. Once it hits shoulder, or not shoulder, but ribs and goes in, what can you expect to happen inside? Definitely like that first one that we saw. Say that first one hit a rib and then it opened up a little bit. And again, instead of it just, just go. yeah, instead of it just poking right through, it opens up. And if it hits anything more solid, you're going to see those fine uh, razory kind of pieces go off and do its thing as you want a regular frame of ground to do. But instead of just literally poking holes straight through, it does like a conical shape effect. I think it, it imparts all the energy into. You. And talking about damage and energy when you're talking about hunting, um, if you have a 270 Winchester, 270 Winchester, the bullet is 0.27 of an inch in diameter, okay? Um, when it hits the vitals on, a, on an animal, uh, does a massive amount of damage in there. Now you compare that to uh, an arrow from a bow or a bolt from a cross gun, uh, yeah, cross gun, a crossbow. Now it has a larger diameter cutting area, damage area, but it just kind of does that poke the hole through. Once that energy from that high powered rifle, it disperses that energy and just messes with everything in there. So once again, with the shotgun, with the cut shell, you're saying that once it get in, gets in there, it just does massive damage. Yeah, I would say any bit of energy that it can impart, it is imparting it instead of just poking through. Awesome, awesome. Now, once again, guys, we do need to remember, please, this would be for a survival type situation. Uh, I can't imagine any state regulations out there that will allow people to, to hunt large animals with a cut shell. Um, but for a survival situation, right now we're having trouble finding ammo, and if you do, it's really expensive. But if you go and you can find some of that bird shot, uh, you can take that bird shot and turning it, turn it into something extremely useful. Okay, so you can see how just cheap bird shot, uh, you can have an effective big game hunting to some degree and self-defense round for the price of yeah nothing so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and we'll talk to you after a while